Welcome to Electron Line. Our next example is going to require us to do several little tricks. But first of all, the general rule, if you can, and in this case we have to, is factor the denominator. So let's go ahead and factor this denominator right here. So this can be written as x over x plus 3 minus 2 divided by 3 minus x and minus 3 minus 5x over since this is the difference of squares, it'll be x plus 3 times x minus 3. Now notice there's some similarities here. We have an x plus 3, an x minus 3, and a 3 minus x. We need to flip this one over to make it look exactly the same as that. And we can accomplish that by multiplying the denominator by negative 1 and multiplying this by negative 1. So this can be written as follows. This is equal to x over x plus 3 plus, we change the negative to a plus, 2 over, and now of course we multiply this times the negative, which becomes x minus 3. So by making this a plus and flipping these over, we negate it one by the other, and now we have exactly x minus 3, x plus 3, which is common with this denominator, 3 minus 5x divided by x plus 3 times x minus 3. And then, of course, I should have probably left a little bit more room, so let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to move this over a little bit. Now I need to make these into common denominators. I can do that by multiplying this denominator by an x minus 3. And, of course, when I do that to the denominator, I must do exactly the same to the numerator. Here, I need an x plus 3. And of course, I need to do exact same to the numerator, and now notice that each denominator looks exactly the same. I can now write all the numerators over one single common denominator. So this is x times x minus 3 plus 2 times x plus 3, and then minus the quantity 3 minus 5x. This is a 3. All divided over common denominator of x plus 3 times x minus 3. And again, don't be tempted in canceling these things out because you can't do that because of all the plus and minus signs. Let's multiply everything in the numerator and then collect common terms. So this is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 2x plus 6 minus 3 minus times minus this plus 5x all divided by x plus 3 times x minus 3. And then continuing up here, let's collect all common terms. So we have an x squared. Then we have a minus 3x plus 2x plus 5x. So that's plus 7 minus 3, that means plus 4x. And the constants have a plus 6 and a minus 3, that would be plus 3. All divided by x plus 3 times x minus 3. And now I believe we can factor the numerator. This can be written as x plus 3, x plus 1, all divided by x plus 3 times x minus 3. And then clearly these two cancel, and we're left with x plus 1 over x plus 3. Oh, not plus, but minus 3. And there you go. That's the simplest form for that initial problem. So, two tricks. First of all, make sure you factor all the denominators first. Then realize that by flipping this one over, by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by negative 1, we can make it look like this. That makes it easier to find the common denominator. That's how we do that.